let us continue with our lesson and we are almost done so if you notice that uh, for our label over here we have set a text over here which is only on our design view when we actually run the app that this text will not be shown we need to add a text over here so for that what we will do is uh, we will go to our let's go to the app over here section and go to the rest and from here we go to the values and inside this values we have one string file which is a string.xml file just open this one and okay i open a wrong file sorry that a style i need to open a string so string dot xml file so just open that one and we just have one string name which is a roll the dice and i'll just create a few more which is a string and i'll just call it as a clear a and you just close the bracket and inside the close inside the opening and the closing over here we need to add uh, some text that is a clear a and we need to add also for a uh, string of a uh, name as a p l a y e r player underscore b and just close the bracket over here and we say p l a y e r player b so we have player a and player b and we also need to add for a total total game uh, sorry what was that one is a total point game point so we need to add a game point so i'll say as a game underscore p point point and just close the bracket over here and i'll say game point so we have added a three string name over here player a player b and a game point so we need to add we need to use this one so we'll go to the player a and in the text from the text field just select this uh, icon over here pick a resource and just click over here and we can see the project inside the project we have added a player a which is a player a just click on that one then that will be added over here so whenever we run our application it will show the text so also for the game point we'll go to the text section and just show from here and i'll just say take a game point from here and from here let's go to the text and let's go over here and select the player b so we have added a label to over over here and also if you see over here we have some missing content description so just fix that one and we also have a hard-coded text let us fix that one also so hard-coded text is added i'm not sure where is the hard-coded text okay so to do is a hard-coded text added over here uh, let's go to our text view from here uh, inside the text view let me find the image view yeah the content description is added uh, to do so what we will do is we'll go to the string file again and i'll just say uh, string and i will just copy this uh, content description and just paste it over here and i'll just say as a uh, let me take a id from here dice image and that should be better dice image underscore content description just close this one and here we can add uh, any description the content description that you want to add then we'll just say that is a uh, dice image and for that what we'll do is we'll we can also just directly add from here which from a text view so i'll just say add string and from here i just can get a dice image just add that one and that should fix our error so we don't have any warning over here if you see that's uh, look perfectly fine and we have a design view over here and one is a text view so if you don't know uh, how to uh, the text view the text view is the whatever we add from here let's say we add any text or button or any widget we add from here and we go to the text view that will be added as a code over here this is a xml code and if you are familiar with the xml code you can also go and add directly from from the text view over here we don't need to add from a design view but uh, the, of course design view is more faster to add a design and you don't have to write uh, any code over here 
but if you are familiar with uh, XML code and you know how to add a fee, uh, how to add a text view a button view for using the code then you are uh, you can come over here in the text view and you can directly add it maybe on our coming lecture and maybe on the next video or maybe when we are dealing on the more advanced things that maybe we come and add some of the buttons and a text view with our code over here so that's uh, i think we have successfully added and anything that we need to fix okay so let's run our application for now i will just select one of the device from here and just select uh xl api level 29 so we'll be targeting our api level 29 which is the latest latest from google just click on run then just wait for our application to build up it may take a bit time our app is up and running and you can see we have a nice and beautiful design which has a card view a player a game point and player b and i think that is missing a point over here we have a missing point may because that is uh, if you go over here now if you set check the text over here because we have not added, added that to the text we just added the text that is just for our design view and not for our uh, actual device view so we can also add a text for that one the thing that we need to go to over here and uh, what we'll say is we'll just we just add uh, some over here let's say string name uh, and uh, what was the let me select this one and we say t tv game point a so i'll, I'll just say as a uh, game point a so that should be fine game point a we'll give an initial value of zero and for a player b also we say string name and game point underscore sorry underscore b then we'll give an initial value of a 10 and for a game point also we need so a string name and we'll say game point Okay, game point in ITIL initial and just give a value of 100. By default, we just said as a, or we can just call it as a default. Default value as a 100. So we can go over here and we can change the value now from our text. Just select from here and we'll just say game point A. And for this one also, we'll just select from the text section and we'll say as a game point default and for this one too and if uh, sorry here just and game point b so that's it we added it and if you run the device uh, run the app again we should get our default value for our app yes that's how we get a default value 0 100 and 0 so the next thing that we need to work on is we need to work on how to change the the image over here whenever user clicks or whenever the player click on this image we need to generate a different image depending on a random image we need to select from 1 to 6 and whenever that image is shown we need to add a value to our player so Oh, and the next thing that I want to teach you about is that the why we add a text from here the text from here is that using a string file or else we can also directly write from here that it's a not a big problem we can directly write anything value over here and that the value will be set over there but uh, things is that why we use the string file over here is for the it's recommended and also for a translation so later we want to translate this application or your app to another language maybe you want to translate to uh, other like an Arabian language or a Chinese or any other language so you can make use of this string file and you can just duplicate that one and add your own translation file over here and that's uh, how we can make the translation in our application. 
So it's not recommended that you hard code the text in the text file over here. Uh, you just make a different string file and a string uh, name over here and just point to that string resource file using our text uh, attribute over here. Just don't hard code it. So if you hard code it, it's fine. That's the just if uh, you don't have any error. But uh, the thing is that later if you want to do some translation to that text, or you want to translate your app to some different language uh, other than the English, then you may have a you will have a difficulties because that the hard coded text cannot be translated. So that's it for this video. And I, why I have something over here? Game point two. Okay, this is not not the game point two. We need to change the ID over here. So ID is not game point two. So this is our game point level. So I just need to put a LB over here. LB, this is a level for our game point. Yes, just select yes. And this is our actual game point. So I'll just say text view game point. So just make a change on this one. One is a label and one is a total, uh, game point. Similarly, we have one level and one is a uh, point over here. So uh, that's it for this video. We'll continue with this lecture on our next video. And on the next video, we'll go and start on a coding side. So see you on the next video. Till then, have a great day.